Well, good Thursday evening, everyone. Take a look outside. We still have lots of sunshine showing up across the area. We had, did have some strong storms overnight and early this morning. Those kind of blew through the area and that cleared the skies and sunshine. Yeah, that's what we were left with today. Look at the temperatures for highs. Yeah, got into the mid 70s across the mountains, made its way up into the uh, lower 80s across the upstate in northeast Georgia. So uh, these temperatures are some 15 to 20 degrees above where we should be for this time of the year. But don't worry, that's all about to change here in the coming days. In fact, as we go throughout tonight into tomorrow morning, we're going to start to notice that cool air spilling south and diving over the mountains into the upstate of northeast Georgia. So we're talking 30s for the mountains again as we start off your Good Friday and then temperatures in the 40s across the rest of the area. But as we go throughout your Good Friday, lots of sunshine you're just going to notice that it's going to be much cooler than where we have been. In fact, take a look at these temperatures. Highs only in the 50s in the mountains. Highs struggling to get into the low. Maybe a couple of mid 60s across portions of the upstate in northeast Georgia. Either way you slice it, about 20 degrees cooler than where we have been the past couple of days. So you're going to want to notice that. In fact, some of you may have to get the long sleeve shirts out again. It's been a while since we've been that cool. And it's not going to stop there. We're going to see that cool air continuing to spill into the area. So by Friday night into Saturday morning, it's going to be downright cold across the area. I think everyone drops down into the 30s across the region. But notice our friends in the mountains, you're going to flirt with or just below that actual freezing mark as we get towards your Saturday morning. So if you have any tender vegetation, you already take it outside. You may want to think about bringing it back in at least for your Friday night because it's going to get quite chilly once again across the area. All thanks to this cold front that's moving through the area. It brought us the windy conditions today. The dry conditions that led to that high fire weather uh, risk out there and we'll see that again tomorrow. But notice the cooler air across the Midwest. That's what's going to spill south. Now what I'm keeping my eye on is kind of two different systems. One situated over Canada right now with some much colder air with it. Also an area of low pressure and upper low swirling across areas from Vegas over to Southern California right now. These two systems are actually going to combine and merge together and produce a dynamic storm system for us just in time for your Easter Sunday. Let me walk you through this hour by hour with future radar and clouds. Saturday morning, cold, frosty, but sunny out there. But notice as we go throughout the day, Saturday clouds increase. And by Sunday, Easter Sunday, we're going to have a couple of waves of rain moving in. Some of that rainfall could be locally heavy, specifically as we get into your Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. And then here comes the second part of that system moving through Sunday night. That's when we could actually see the potential of a couple of thunderstorms developing along that cold front, and some of those storms could be on the strong to severe side. So your Easter Sunday is an impact day. Heavy rain is likely as we go into your afternoon hours on your Sunday, and then Sunday night, that's when we could actually see some of those strong to severe thunderstorms moving on through. In fact, severe weather will be likely just to our south where we could have a severe weather outbreak developing across parts of the south, so we'll be watching that for you very closely. Again, a very dynamic system, even the potential of an elevated flood risk around here, so we've got a lot to watch for you. So breezy sunshine for your good Friday an impact day on your Saturday. We're looking at that patchy frost in the morning and then there you see it Easter Sunday heavy rain and maybe strong to severe thunderstorms by Sunday night.